Okay, just climbed out of my truck. What better thing to do on a Sunday morning when you're bored? But I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on this over in Flate Valve. It's pretty simplistic. Hopefully you can see. Um, basically what I did was I plugged in a regulator and that's this right here. And you don't, you're not ever gonna get to it. So you don't really need to have it in it. I mean, I can climb under here and adjust the pressure right here. But once you have it adjusted, you're not gonna get to it. So I split the supply that normally goes to your over or your auto ride valve. This is your auto ride valve. You got the rod comes down, connects to the differential. That supply I split. I ran it through the regulator and over to the over inflate valve, which I just, I welded, uh, I just bolted a bracket on and welded, I think I welded off that same bracket that holds the, the uh, dump valve or auto, auto level valve. If you notice, that supply is going in there. Now, the way this works is it goes to, when you flip this over inflate valve, it shuts off the air going to, coming from the auto leveling valve. It shuts that air off and, and then over inflates it, bypassing your, bypassing your auto level valve. Now, if you notice this, the, uh, the auto level valve is very simplistic, right? Supply coming in, your air switch that's on your dash, quarter inch line, then this would have gone to the airbags, left and right or, or something similar to that. And then my airbags are split again over on each side. So I came out of the, the auto level valve and I went in to the bottom so there again, on this auto inflate valve, I'll have to look up which numbers are what on that diagram, but I split this because it has to run, this is in coming. So I came off both lines that used to feed airbags and came in here and that's split. Now on the other side, I came out and went to the airbags. So this one's going there and on the back side, there's one that loops around and comes over here to this side of the airbag. So, and then you can see this yellow, little yellow line. That's my, what used to be my fifth wheel switch. That is what activates this over inflate valve. And I just use the fifth wheel slide switch on the dash and flip that and over inflates. This is where it drains and they recommended that I put uh, a little filter on it so that craft can't get up in that port so i did that so that's basically it um it is a little confusing um you really i don't i don't think you're gonna hurt anything if you do it wrong it's either gonna work or it's not it might throw your truck out of level or something weird like that if you did it wrong but um and then you can play around. I think I have my regulator cranked all the way up just because, yeah, I do. Well, pretty much. But you can, these regulators are pretty cheap. Um, they're nothing special. And that just allows you to adjust how much air you want to throw to the bags after you go through the over inflate valve. And that's pretty much it. So I'll uh, try to do a little video that refers back to the diagram and we'll, we'll kind of go over that.